the new law pretty much allows the seller to not pay the buyer agent at commission. So right now, if I go to a listing presentation where I meet with a seller who's looking to sell his house, we're only gonna charge for our commission, the selling side, the listing side. I sit down with the seller and I say, this is how much we charge. We put that on the contract. They hired me for that service and for that fee, done. In the event the buyer agent wants to be compensated, the buyer is the one, the buyer agent is the one who has to request for the seller to pay the commission. But before we get to that point, the buyer agent has to get a broker compensation agreement from the buyer first. Meaning, Mr. Buyer, my name is Jose Contreras. I need to represent you as the buyer to the property. Therefore, I charge X amount for me to help you acquire your home. This is gonna be a game changer for a lot of people because the buyers on top of saving for the down payment, having money for the closing cost, any lender fees or buy down rates, on top of all of that, they're gonna have to pay the buyer agent for their services. Well, we don't need a buyer agent. I recommend you do have a buyer agent because the buyer agent is gonna look after your interest. The listing agent, unless they are transparent and they're honorable and honest people, you should be okay but you need to have someone on your side. And that is something that I will let that up to you, your discretion to see if you feel that with the listing side or if you think it's best for you to have someone else representing you. So with that being said, the buyer has to have an agreement with the buyer agent. That buyer agent has to charge a compensation because they won't work for free. But in my case, for example, I will strongly recommend that if I represent a buyer, I will sign a buyer broker agreement saying this is how much I'm gonna charge you guys in the event I do represent you in the purchase, but I am going to do everything, everything in my power, I'm sorry, I just saw a bunch of cars stopping, but I will do everything in my power to have the seller pay for my commission, which will brings us back to the old days. You know, nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is the process and the transparent communication that your buyer agent needs to have with the client, with the buyer. Yes, we have to go extra steps in order for us to achieve the same goal, but bottom line, as an agent, if you're working with an agent, make sure that you're, the agent that you're hiring is working for your interest. They're working for you, whatever is best for you. We want you to get your house. We want you to get the house that you like. We want you to be able to feel that we negotiated in such a way that you're gonna be happy with our services.